We got Liliana and Win. My god, how long have we been going? Holy smokes. Whatever, this is one episode. This isn't actually as, quite as bad as I thought. I thought we were like an hour and a half freaking in. Irving told me about how you became a Grey Warden, and that unpleasant incident that occurred prior to your departure from the Circle. Still wish it hadn't That's turned out the way That's not something did. either of us can alter. But that aside, you're a Grey Warden now, and perhaps I presume too much by saying this, but the Circle is proud of you. Thanks, man. Um... Do not squander this time trying to explain why Irving... Sometimes it gives me comfort to think that everything will end up the way it's supposed to. That it will be all right. You were huh. chosen. You survived the joining when others did not. Huh. I anyway. must ask, what does being a Grey Warden mean uh, to you? It means I've been chosen to do something important. There's that, of course. But there's more to being a Grey Warden. Ultimately, being a Grey Warden is about serving others. About serving all people, whether elves or dwarves or men. That's. But the Grey Warden. As a Grey no Warden, one. you are a guardian of men, and you guard them because their continued existence is more great. important than oh, you no, it's are. Just the tent Thus, <laughs> it is you who serves, not they. We'll keep a good king, a true king who cares for his land, uses his power to rule firmly but fairly. The king who does not do this, who believes that he is entitled to his power, who abuses it, and uses it for his own means, is a tyrant. Huh. If you live apart from others, and your actions affect only you, then you may do as you wish. But if you have power, influence, and strength, your every action will be as a drop of water in a clear, still pond. The mm. drop causes ripples, and ripples spread. But I've lectured enough. Wow, You're still. You're quite taken with each other, aren't you? Yes, I've noticed quite. your blossoming relationship. She is a cunning woman, a Maleficar. She will um, use you for her own ends. I am telling that. you what I see, and what my instincts tell me. And even if the feelings you share are genuine, you are a Grey Warden. I know. You have responsibilities um, which supersede your personal desires. Human being with emotions. Love is super... ultimately selfish. It demands that one be devoted to a single person who may fully occupy one's mind and heart to the exclusion of... A Grey Warden cannot afford to be selfish. You may be forced to make a choice um, between saving your love and saving everyone else. And then what would you do? Anything so sort of... Nothing is certain. Are. Not in these times. You cannot take anything um, for granted. I want I'll you to be aware of this. I am just said. trying to minimize. I have given my. I know, Morgan. Yep, is there's there the disapproves. You need? Can we finally talk about something I want to ask you? The circle is in good hands. Irving knows what to do, and he doesn't need me underfoot. For now, I will support those that battle the Darkspawn. I do feel I left things unfinished in Ostagar. There is so much left to do. But you left the children. Yes, I did leave them. But if the blight is not stopped, all of them will face suffering greater than what was seen in the... T the Grey Wardens... That's true. All two of you need all <laughs> the help you can get. And after that, if I am still left standing, then I will return to the Circle. Good call. I'm sure you'll be able to return. I want to make sure no, of it. course I don't. I'm old and unsure of what I'm doing. Actually, <laughs> I'd rather be in a warm chair in the sun, being served pudding, or some other <laughs> easily digestible food. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't I mean know. It that way. I was just teasing. The ability to laugh at myself is something I developed too late in life. <laughs> but to allay your fears, most people never yes, develop it. I am sure this is what I want. Is there something you need? I will I answer to the best the of my people don't mage? become mages. They are born mages. I was brought there by the Templars, just like many of the other apprentices. Um, what about your family? I didn't have a family. I never knew my real parents. My earliest memory was of hiding in a hayloft on a farm, trying to keep warm. Jeez. I was found, and the farmer's wife was kind enough not to send me away. But they had children of their own, 
And I was never made to feel welcome. The Oof. eldest son was the worst. He was always calling me a stray. And, oh. and I don't know how it happened, but one day, he just found his hair on fire. <laughs> Fortunately, there was a large truck. I had hurt? singed his hair and eyebrows, but injured little other than his pride. Who knows what they would have done to me had he been more seriously hurt. Thankfully, all I had to endure was a few nights locked in a cold barn with a bowl of water and a crust of bread. The Templars arrived several mornings later. What happened when you arrived at the I'll tower? never forget the moment the Templars led me into the entrance hall of the tower. I had never seen anything so grand in my life. I stopped being afraid then. I knew huh. I was home. We were the lucky ones. I learned very quickly that for every apprentice in the tower, there was probably one who never even lived to see the Templars come. Oof. No child, not even a mage child, is a match for an angry mob trying to place blame for a failed God, father, so terrified. a hard winter, a baby born dead. Superstition and fear is what makes these people behave in this manner. Yeah. It, well... That's about all there is to my tale. Uh, That's how I came to this. It has been almost a year, hasn't it? A year you since I left the tower? The tower? What? <laughs> you can take a mage out of the circle, but you can't take the circle out of the mage. <laughs> or so Irving used to say. He was Doesn't joking. say that anymore, though. But there is some truth to the statement. A mage never really leaves the circle. And for the rest of your life, you will be... But, but you will always now. be a mage. You represent both true. mages and Grey Wardens, and your actions may reflect well. I will try. Thank oh, you for the advice. listen to me. Go on. <laughs> you start a conversation, um, and I just run away with it, don't I? No, no, oh, no. yes. One must be thankful for small mercies. <laughs> that little grin is perfect. You need? Um, I will answer to... Oh, win's already done. Cool. So all we have is Liliana, and we're actually going to be able to play the video game. Woo. Something I can help with? Um, yes? What's on your mind? I miss Val Royale. Unlike other cities where the people are the lifeblood and the character, Val Royale was her own person, and her people little more than decorate. There was always music in Val Royale, streaming hmm. from the many windows, quiet refrains and triumphant chorus, and always floating above that all, the chant, coming from the Grand Cathedral. It was magnificent. Look at her huge freaking bow. Sounds oh, wonderful. it would take me a day or two to talk about the many splendors of Orle, her golden fields, her lush meadows. Except for like just invaded us a few years ago. About Orle, we just like barely anywhere else. Sometimes I miss it dearly. And you will laugh at this, but I miss the fine things I had in Orle. Like what? Dresses, fine dresses and furs. And shoes, Ugh. of course. One can't mingle with nobility with bad shoes, you see. <laughs> Ole is very fashionable. Almost ridiculously so. <gasps> but the shoes. <laughs> Living with his ridiculous trends was worth it. Oh, my God, the shoes. Shoe. <laughs> What's so special about shoes? Well, they're... They're shoes. They're pretty. When I left <laughs> Ole, the fashion was shoes with delicate tapered heels and embellishments in the front. A ribbon, perhaps. Or embroidery. In soft colors, of course. It was spring. Of course. Soft colors. You <laughs> lost me. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, I could talk about shoes all day. <laughs> I could talk about shoes all day. Something I can help with? Yes? What's on your mind? Do you have tails? Where did you hear spots. this? Um. Someone told me a song. I read it in his. Uh, can you God. believe not all minstrels are spies? Most are just singers and storytellers, but some of them are are what we call bards. Yeah, bards from D and D, uh, ladies bards and gentlemen. <laughs> are minstrels and more spies, as you say. Some say there is a bard order, but I don't think this is true. Many bards work alone or in small groups, doing the bidding of a patron who pays for their services. If there is an organization behind it all, no one knows who they are. Nobles sort of mostly patron. in all a. There is much rivalry amongst the highborn. Of course they there fight is. It, but they cannot do this openly because it is impolite. And in public... <sighs> God, it sounds they miserable. They scheme to destroy each other. 
It is a game completely meaningless to anyone but its players. You were a bard. I have revealed too much, it seems. But it doesn't matter what I used to be. It is the past. Why are you living cloistered sister in I found myself in Ferelden and sheltered from bad weather in the Chantry. And when the storm passed, I just did not want to leave. I like to see mm. the maker brought me here. Cool. Something I can help with? Um, you to be a bird? I don't think you have the correct. Let's just go. Sweet specialization. Something I can help with? Yes. What? Of course I do. I love stories far too much to keep them to myself. Oh my God! So Everyone many stories. should be able to benefit. Uh, Chantry law says it is man's pride that created the dark. In ages past, the mages of the Tevinda Imperium ruled much of the world we know. In their pride, they thought their magics invincible and imagined that they were greater than the Maker himself. So Whoops. thinking, they invaded his golden city, planning to take it for themselves and depose their own creator. But they were impure and full of sin. And it is with the sin that they tainted the golden city, corrupting it forever. The Maker cursed them and cast them from his sight. Wherever they went, they spread the taint of their sin. Any land that was touched by the taint became blighted and would suffer no life. Instead, the darkspawn arose to torment us and remind us of our hubris. All right, look, we're gonna, uh, just, I can't, I can't, I'm done, I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. We gotta move, we gotta play the video game. <laughs> we're going for like an hour. Uh, yes. 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 That's a really good squad for a lot of the time right there. Um, we didn't do ban lore. We did this. Oh, Loth Lothering's already destroyed. Uh, let's just go to Flemeth's hut. Take care of this. Then I want to go back to the peak. Uh, do probably some gift stuff. Ooh, is this Shen? Is this the Sten? Oh, <gasps> yes. How did a child survive that? The crater is still smoking. It's a boy. Oh. Five fingers, five toes. That's all that matters to me. The Maker has answered our prayers. Let's go home, Marta. Marta. So. Metal Meteor Ore. Cool. Well, it's not Sten, but it's still cool. Um... But yeah, we basically just came across Superman. <laughs> See, why do we need to loop all the way up there? Well, we're at Flemeth's hut. Hey, Flemeth. Morgan asked us to come. And so lovely Morgan has at last found someone willing to dance to her tune. Such enchanting music she plays, um, wouldn't you say? Why she dance at all? Why, what has Morrigan told you? Hmm? What little plan has she hatched this time? She knows how you that extend your she does. Course. The ah, but it is an old, old story. Let us skip right to the ending, shall we? Do you slay the old wretch as Morrigan bids, or does the what do you Morrigan propose? wishes my grimoire? Take it as a trophy. Tell her I am slain. What I go. To you? Perhaps I surprise. It would be interesting to see what she does with her freedom. Enlightening, even. Um. Would you give an old woman shame? No. What will it be then? Uh, I take the grimoire from myself. Oh, oh, how interesting! But you must earn what you take. I would have it no other way. Uh oh. Yep. So now we're just fighting a dragon. Oh man. Uh, Alistair, go attack. Shale, go attack. Oh my god. Uh, this is gonna go in poorly. Character chosen and allies have to do in battle. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, get out of the way of the fire. <laughs> already got it. I'm just gonna already throw this out. Oh my god, we're not making any progress here. Oh 
Oh my god. No, wait. Nope. Wrong button. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, let's see. Okay, so now if Shale dies... Um, we're not also doing very well. That life ward doesn't last very long. Huh. That didn't end super well. Is there anything I could have done better? Let's leave for now. Well, I also want to go get Shale the flawless stones that I found. Oh, we're going left around the lake. Doop doop doo doop 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 doo. Wow, no interruptions. All right. All right. So what I need this, 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 this. Boom, 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 All right, that worked. All right, so inventory. So Alistair. All right, so what gifts? Yeah, okay. So Alistair. He would like... He does not take the Chantry Amulet or the Bronze Symbol. The White Rune Stone. Yep. Is that for me? Really? Really? Wow. I'm... Wow. Wow. He also likes Is this. Is that for me? Is that really? for me? Really? Wow. I'm... What? I'm... What? Ooh, shiny. Ooh. And then Win, Win. What do you want? I gotta. I would like to get Win stronger. Actually, get her. Especially if this is gonna be a squad I run with. Oh my God! This. Is there ever a wiki page that isn't a piece of garbage? Like. She likes books. The Rose of Orlay. Where the heck is it? Oh wait, did I take? I didn't take that. Um. She likes wine. Really? I don't have... I thought I had the Rose of Orlay. Did I, like, totally... Oh, I did totally miss it. generous gift. Thank you ever so much. Uh, everything else is books. Which I don't have, but I do have wine. A generous gift. Thank you. Sweet. Minor willpower. I'll take it. I'll take that. Um, can I swap my party around? No, of course not. So why would I? What can I hey, do, Levi? Warden? Got any new stuff to buy? That stuff I sold you. Stuff I sold you. Master Frost. Now, I have an option here to give this guy the medal that I just got. The meteorite medal. Or I can give it to the guy in Denerim. Let's go to camp real quick. I lied to you, you know, about why I left Ole. Oh? Come I didn't on. feel like talking about it then. What happened to me? Maybe I came to Ferelden and the Chantry because I was being hunted in Ole. Oh, hunted I before. I was framed. Betrayed by someone I thought I knew and could trust. Marjolaine. She was my mentor. She taught oh, me the right. Bardic arts, how to enchant with words and song, to carry myself like a highborn lady, to blend in as a servant. The skills I learned, I used to serve her, my bardmaster, 
Because Bod I loved her. And because I enjoyed what I did. Um, how did she betray you? You can say it was my fault. There was a man I was sent to kill. I was to bring Marjolaine everything he carried. Pretty sure this is this the was. side quest she gave me DLC that we do much later. And I hunted him down. I found documents on his body. Sealed documents. Yo, My curiosity got the better of me. Marjolaine had been selling all kinds of information about Orlais to other countries. Nevara and Antiva among others. It was treason. Isn't that what Sam. cards do? But I had always assumed Marjolaine only operated within Orlais. My life as Bard taught me that my loyalties should be kept fluid. My concern was not that she was a traitor, but that her life would be in danger if she was caught. Orle has oh, been boy. at war with so many countries. It takes a harsh view of such things, harsh as I later discovered. What do you mean? I should have left well alone, but I didn't. I had to tell Marjolaine I feared for her life. She brushed aside my concern. She admitted her guilt, but said it was in the past. I believed oh, her. I kept believing up till the moment they showed me the documents altered by her hand to make me look the traitor of course Who's the Orlesian guards they captured me did terrible things to make me confess and reveal my conspirators it was a traitor's punishment I endured and at the end of Jeez, it how'd you get the out? skills Marjolaine taught me were good for something at least I broke free when I saw the opportunity I did not seek Marjolaine out. If she thought I was coming for her, she would have me caught again. And so you I was tempted to confront her. I was furious, betrayed. And so I fled to Ferelden, to the Chantry and the Maker. Ferelden protected my person, and the Maker saved my soul. And that is the reason I am here. The real reason. Um, no more lies between us. Thank it you for trusting good me to with have this. Woo! All right. Did Alistair, did Shale, did win. Sten. What is Sten even like? More importantly, does he like anything? Oh my god. This, this, these wikis are the worst piece of trash ever. Oh my god. Like, I can't even use Chrome right now. I'm going to use it on my phone. All right. Um, I had the page still open on my phone, so who really cares? Shale, Sten. He likes paintings and his sword. So I can give him the water stain. I am impressed. Sten likes me so much. You called. I am hardly surprised. Very well. Speak then. Then I suggest we move on. I guess we're just done until I find his sword. Um. Uh, Morrigan, do I have anything you like? See, the page is loading just fine on my phone. Freaking annoying. Alright, the Gwimmar gold amulet. Does she like the silver chain? She sure does. I am great. Massive magic. I like I like I, don't, I like magic, but I also like massive magic. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um. She's pr she's topped off. That means. Leliana, what do you like? If I can find her, freaking. Um. There she is. All right, Andraste's gray shoes. Bronze symbol of Andraste. I. That's a wonderful thought. Chantry amulet. Uh. Everything else is. Oh, the steel symbol of Andraste. Oh. All right. Well, she's super rocketing up too. Something I can help with. Yes. What's on your mind? Nope, nothing else interesting. All right. Uh, I don't even freaking know if I have anything for idiots, Zevron. No B. Here you go. All right, Zevron. Not that I care that much, but.
All right. Um. Like, I might as well. Oh, he likes gold bars. I care very little. All right, cool. We took care of all that. Excellent. Well, we can't deal with Flemeth yet. We're just not strong enough. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, actually. Yes. Yes. So now what? I guess we'll finish off the DLC. And then we're probably going to go to Red... Probably go to Orzammar next. Oh, crap. Alright, let's throw up this bad boy right up here. Interrupt. Oh my god. Just keep track of what's down here right now. Oh my god. Oh, leader man. Nice, win also did it. Uh, guys, are they just ignoring the leader? Jeez. Nice knock over. Nice knock over. Oh, there's another one over there. Oh my god, there's more? Jeez. Alright. Top them all off. Oh my god, Alistair even stepped in the trap. Oh, uh, do the attack? Okay, I, didn't, I don't know why I wasn't doing the attack after I stood up, but... Oh. Jeez, that was a shockingly large squad. I love having Shale in the party because you just hear the clomping along. Dump, 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 dump. Just some silver. Do 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 do. We can continue on our way. Oh, I forgot again. Oh crap! Win. Whoa! Oh, I fell. Are you all right? For a moment there, I thought I was... I thought it was all over. What? You need I, rest. I will explain everything when we are back. Well, that gave me an opportunity. Oh. All oh, right, flawed is better than chipped. Um, is there any other gear swaps I can make? Are you freaking able to wear Blood Dragon yet? Oh my god, he's not. Oh right, he's not even that close. Ugh. Four. Oh, those are terrible. Helm of Hanlith. Wind should probably get something. Looks dumb, Win. Sorry, I know. Ugh, all these rough. I'm in such bad shape. But the stats are so good. It's so annoying. I can't wear the helm. Oh my god. All right, let's go. Well, we finally are gonna find out uh, how Win survived that. Oop. Jeez, now what? Another encounter? 
Oh, did we reach Ban Lauren? Yeah, I think we did. Ban Lauren. Uniform of King Kale and Zonderguard. Join the fray. Oh, crap. You guys just killed one of King Kalen's dudes. Why would you do that? Alright, now we're gonna head over here. Oh, hello. You're coming for me, aren't you? Ow. No! Sometime I'm gonna have to take the time to like off camera do all of my party's AI. Part of the problem though is I wanna wait until I'm actually like full level. Or they're like popped off. Close fanned and unmistakable. You remember his Elric marriage honor guard Oscar post compliment with King. Thank you. I, I didn't expect the band's men to notice my escape so quickly. I tried to hide here in the woods, but there wasn't time. You got run now through, I'm dude. Dead man. You, you were there in Ostago. You know how things went. For me, it was either this, or die in some dark spawn's belly, or, or be hung as a deserter. What? You deserted? I dare say most people think the same of you and me, if not worse. I fled the battlefield when Logain betrayed us. I abandoned my men, and they died. And Kaelin with them. Make her. All that time in Ban Loren's prison. And I couldn't stop thinking about all they suffered that one dark night at Ostagar. Leave it to me long. to be the one who lingers. <laughs> but if it's the likes of you who seize me to my final hour. The king entrusted me with the key to the royal arms chest. If anything were to happen to him, he said, it was vital I deliver it to the wardens. Okay. The maker okay. has a sense of humor, doesn't he? I suppose it's for the best, however. Had I kept. But you said Kaelin entrusted it to you. I was afraid. I thought I would lose it on the battlefield, so I stashed it in the. Don't I hope the not. Okay. Would they know how to work the lock? The Darkspawn are more cunning than we give them credit for. But the king trusted that lock with his secrets. The key's behind a loose stone at the base of a statue. You'll be taking me along, won't you? Call me sentimental, but I left behind some dark... The events at Ostagar still haunt my... It is vital that the King's documents do not fall into the wrong hands. As for Marek's so and... And... <laughs> nice one, dude. Alright, so return to Ostagar. So now we have the mission to go back to Ostagar, which we're probably not going to do now because we need to be super high level. Let's head back to camp to figure out what's up with Wynn, and then I guess I we'll start... I I owe you an explanation for what happened earlier. Possibly. You Quite should weird. know that something happened to me at the tower before you came along. Remember my apprentice, Petra? She encountered a demon in the tower. It would have killed her had I not intervened. I saved her life that day, but I did not survive that encounter with the demon. Wait, what? No, I'm not undead. If I were a possessed walking corpse and could still think, I'd kill myself. I engaged Yikes. a very powerful demon to rescue Petra. It sapped me of all my energy and will and left me drained. It took okay. everything I had to defeat it. And when I was done, I no longer had the strength to keep my heart beating. I remember my life ebbing away. Everything receded from me. Sound, light. I remember being enveloped in complete, impenetrable darkness. And okay. then I sensed a presence enfolding me and cradling me, whispering quietly to me. 
The sensation is impossible to describe. I was being held back firmly but gently as a mother would a child eager to slip from her grasp. I felt life and warmth flowing through my veins again. I began to be aware of small sounds and the discomfort of my hip pressing into the cold stone of the tower floor. Huh. The Fade contains spirits both benevolent and malicious. The benevolent spirits seldom make themselves known because they want nothing from mortals, unlike the demons. It was one of, of these spirits that saved me. Without it, I would be dead. And it has not left me. You see, I huh. am supposed to be dead. It is the spirit that is keeping me in this world. And this is not the way of things. Perhaps the spirit did not expect this, but it is weakening gradually. I am living on borrowed time. Oh my god, Wynn. We'll make the best of that time. Yes, that we will. I mean, that's the only response you can really give, right? Oh, this is Ostagar. Well, let's move on then. <laughs>